to its conclusion. Days passed, and all but a few thousand soldiers on either side had perished and obtained auspicious destination. Due to Krishna's mercy, the Odin still lived and had left the battlefield seeking rest. Today, do you die? Remember all of me. There's just, 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 
for theirs. In the midst of much joy and tremendous sorrow, King Yudhisthira could find no peace. Idol life? 
Had we known this was your intention, we would not have fought. But we did fight. You have been triumphant in the battle. So now you face an even greater one. The battle with the mind. Be victorious. Obima, you do not know what you speak of. For you are ruled by your passions. <coughs> okay. Your brothers are crying themselves forth. Trying to do you good. But you are silent. Oh, Lord. When we were dwelling in the forest, suffering from this cold wind and the sun, you said to your brothers, Soon we shall slay broken in this battlefield and wind peck our kingdom. The time has come now. And yet you are the prisoner of our children. Surely it is some kind of madness that is possessing you. Why else do we prepare to renounce these things? Do not give way to folly. Take up the Lord's testament. Rule the earth with righteousness. You urge me to accept this kingdom. But how will that make, my ha make me happy? How will that satisfy my soul? Or even my senses? For material desires can never make you happy. And they stand in the path of devotional service. Oh. Oh. How can I rule this kingdom after I have caused the death of Robin? I am the most <coughs> sinful man. Just see my heart. So full of ignorance. My dear Eunice, dear, let us all go to see Grandfather Fleishman. Surely he will clear your doubts. How can I see the Grandfather after I have caused his death in such a deceitful manner? Do not indulge yourself in grief. You should immediately take off your armor and go at once to see Grandfather We shall do as you say, O Lord. Thus the Pandavas immediately went to see Grandfather Bhishma Pita. Thousands of citizens 
for all desire to see Bhishma one last time before he departed. Oh, Madhava, by your mercy, I am now free from all pain. Even last night, hundreds of great sages, headed by Vyas, Narda, Sukadev, and even the illustrious Sudarshan, came to see me. And by your mercy, I was able to greet them in a befitting manner. <coughs> oh, Grandfather Krishna, <clears throat> would you please instruct us as to the duties of morality and honor <coughs> befitting a king? Oh, Pantali? Why are you laughing? <laughs> At that time, I was living in the home of the evil Duryodhan and eating his food. Therefore, all my blood was poisoned, and I could not tell the difference between right and wrong. But by the arrows of Dananjaya, all my poisoned blood has now drained away. And by the benediction of Keshva, I can see everything clearly. My dear Yudhisthira, come closer. <coughs> oh, what terrible injustice and what terrible sufferings you sons of Pandu have suffered for being sons of religion personified. You do not deserve to remain alive under such tribulations, but you were protected by God, the Brahmins, and religion. As far as my daughter-in-law, Kunti, is concerned, upon the death of the great General Pandu, she became a widow with many sons. She and when you grew up, she also suffered greatly because of your actions. This is all due to inconceivable time, under whose power everyone in every planet is being carried, just as the clouds are being carried by the wind. If it wasn't for an inevitable time who is irreversible, how could there be reverses in the presence of you, King Yudhisthir, the son of religion, and Bhima, the great fighter with a club, and Arjuna with his bow gandiva, and above all, Lord Sri Krishna, the direct well-wisher of the Pandavas. In my opinion, this is all the will of the Supreme Lord, and you must acquiesce to the will of the Lord. Now, you are the rightful king, my Lord, and you must give protection to all the citizens. That Supreme Personality of Godhead who is the reservoir of pleasure, is the original Narayan. He is the supreme enjoyer. But he has descended in this material world as the best of the Vrishtis. And he is bewildering us by his self-created potency. O King, out of ignorance only, that person whom you thought was your friend 
your well-wisher, your counselor, your messenger is none other than the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Lord Sri Krishna. My dear King, it is only by the will of the Supreme Personality of Godhead that everything is taking place. Therefore, you should acquiesce to His will. <coughs> May the Lord, who is forehanded, now appearing before me while I am leaving my body. And do this news inquiry. Bhishma Day first defined all the classifications of castes and orders of life in terms of the individual's qualifications. Then he systematically in two full divisions described counteraction by detachment and interaction by attachment. He then explained by divisions acts of charity, pra pragmatic activities of a king, and activities for salvation. Then he described the duties of women and devotees both briefly and extensively. Then he described the duties of different orders and statuses of life, citing instances from history. He was himself acquainted with the truth. For over 50 days, this divine discussion took place on the battlefield of Kurukshetra. And while Bhishma Dev was speaking, the sun's course ran into the northern hemisphere. This period is desired by mystics who die at their will. Now, let me invest my thinking, feeling, and willing, which was so long engaged in different subject matters and occupational duties, unto Lord Sri Krishna. He is the Supreme Personality of Godhead, but sometimes, being the leader of the devotees, he descends into this material world in order to enjoy his transcendental pastimes. <coughs> Thus that great personality, Bhishma Pita, left this world. Flowers fell from the sky. Everyone was astounded at the passing of the great Mahajan, Bhishma Pita. I can't tell what should I tell. <laughs> Thank you all to Pradeep Mahavarat. I really be some Pitama Bhaskana Pri Mahajan among twelve. And we got high class like Pradat Maharaj, Jani Bhakti. Oh, his life is full of <coughs> well, teaching. Oh, today is so late, so I cannot tell so many things. But my blessing that you should come out of Mahabharata and try to enter in Prajitika. Haribo! This is my opinion. <laughs> If you will follow Mahabharata, you, will, you are bound to fight against each other. <laughs> I don't lie. I saw that how him and Duryodhana and others were fighting. So don't. If you read Mahabharata, oh, you must fight. So please, my teaching that. Oh, come in lovely oh, land 
हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे महाप्रभु